So what does the blueprint look like? Pretty much looks like a blueprint. This is one of the venues that I use to develop this system. So I felt that it was appropriate. I mean, it's typical situation as far as a live settings concerned, you know, the stage, the restrooms, and this is a front door. So that's what this is. Okay. Step one, before you get in the door is to establish your goals. What is the purpose of this show? What's the benefits? Are you using it to try to promote an album coming up or an EP coming up? Literally define success for the evening. After you determine the goals for the evening, the very next thing you do before you get into the door is you determine your offer and your free giveaway in exchange for somebody's contact information or into your marketing funnel or sales funnel. Okay, so the next thing you want to do is you want to set up your merch booth. You got your goals for the evening, you know what offer you're going to be pushing, and now go in the door, merch booth, bam. It's got to be well lit, it's got to be bright so that it looks inviting. Make sure that your merchandise is displayed in a way that looks professional. Also, make sure that you have some sort of device that can take and scan credit cards. Go set up a PayPal account. They will send you a card reader that you can plug into the headphone jack on your phone and you can take credit card and debit card payments at your merch booth. Okay, so what's number four? After you get your merch booth set up and taken care of, you start funneling people into your fan base and then over to your merch booth. How do you funnel people over to your merch booth? The guy that's walking around and talking to people, trying to get those donations, getting people into your social media and your email list, and also directing them to the merch booth. So the fifth and final thing to announce our freebie offer and direct people to the merch booth from the stage. This maximizes everything else that we're talking about here because you are, especially if you're killing it on stage, you have everybody's undivided attention. And you say, hey, stop on by our merch booth and you'll get a free whatever you decide to give them. Make sure you go to whatever your website is, give them the URL here, myband.com slash download song and put in your email address and we will send you the last track that we just played. And that's it. So what do we do? Let's summarize this here. First, you establish your goals and define specifically what you need to accomplish to get moving on the next three months or six months, wherever you want to be. How is this helping you build it? Decide. Immediately after that, determine what you're going to be giving away for the evening. What is your offer? What are you going to be exchanging people for their contact information to get them into your fan base? Make sure everybody knows. Right after that, bam, set up your merch booth. Make sure it's well lit. Make sure whoever is manning it knows what freebie you're giving away for the evening and they are all set up and good to go. Right after that, bam, start funneling people into your merch booth using the CD donation strategy. Start collecting contact information. Start building your fan base while you are simultaneously making money and giving people your music with the CD donation strategy. So the fifth and the final thing you're going to do that evening is to announce your freebie offer from the stage and direct people to your merch booth, maximizing the height of your attention in front of everybody, building upon the relationships that you already started to establish using the CD donation strategy. So that is the basic blueprint.